Hello everybody, Yain Alster here, and today I'm back with yet another tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to get the maximum quality for a low end microphone with this simple tool. We can also use this tool for to add multiple audio tracks to OBS, so when you're streaming you can turn down the game volume up on your headset and down on your stream. Uh, first of all, let's get on with the video. You want to go head down to uh, this page. Um, VB audio pages. Uh, oh hell. Uh, here will index. Oh, this will be in the link in the description. Next, you wanna. You ha this is voice meter, but you first of all you wanna get virtual audio cable. Always oh, doesn't work. So you scroll down, click download. Um, I've already downloaded that, and I've already downloaded the voice meter. So you click voice meter. This will load. Uh, download now. It's free. Download your uh, zip package. Then after that, you wanna. Uh, go to your desktop to your uh, uh, extracted files so that you extract them to folders then go if they go into your VB audio cable driver first otherwise this won't work so you want to click this then you want to go down to uh, whichever setup you have if you've got 64 bit computer or time 64 if you've got 32 bit computer uh, or OS system uh, OS system operating system and then you click the normal one. So after you have to right click, click one as administrator, if it doesn't work, yes. And then it says remove driver for me, but it will say install driver for you. Now, once this is done installing, you have to restart your computer and go back onto this. Oh, yeah, go back here. You don't really need this anymore because you've installed it. And to know it's stored, it installed correctly, you would have it. Uh, in your playback as cable input and recording cable output which is what you need for the, uh, the next off can you stop anyway um, next one to go to voice meter uh, voice meter setup uh, just right click run this image reader. it literally shows the same thing as uh, your VB audio cable and um, install that and I think it will start your computer afterwards but anyway after you install that you want to go down to your actual voice meter by typing a voice meter here voice meter and then put it to your desktop uh, next one to menu you want to go system tray show an app and shuffle because you've been using this all the time uh, because it's you know basically on the fly editing so now you want to, now you're on this uh, you want to go to your hardware input uh, make sure it's WDM and make sure you pick your current microphone well, I've got a microphone on my gaming headset but I don't use it so I use my actual microphone that I have connected to my computer which is my blue number lights so you want to then you want to click um, audio ability to 2.5. It reduces static background noise. It reduces the fans. Um, the reason why you can hear my fans is because my fans are so loud. I get some super quiet ones. But anyway, off you go. I'm going to click your this to 2.5 if you've got a uh, microphone like mine. Uh, like, like, like mine, like me. And then click B for the virtual output as shown over here. Uh, if you start talking to this, then this should go up. And down and um, then you want to click around about here in this box here depending you know you can experiment uh, if you click over here it'll sound like some guy like, yeah like this basically like you know uh, what do you want to order I was racist I'm so sorry I didn't mean that to be racist uh, let's get on with the video uh, anyway then you want to go to your virtual input, make sure the space is on 12 decibels, medium on 12 decibels, and high on 12 decibels as well. The front uh, rear thing, if it's moved anywhere, you'll double click here, so it's the middle. Then you want to click A and the minus 10 is also wrong, so nothing can kill your ears. Then you want on the main out, uh, you want to go minus 6 decibels, so you know it's basically minus 16 decibels. Then you want to go to your over here, it says 0 decibels, which is uh, B, which is virtual out. And make sure it's stereo repeat and make sure you click this and, uh, multiple times to get to this. Um, then, what you want to do is click uh, this WDM to, to your speakers, whatever you're using. Like, I mean, if you, if you got, haven't got your speakers connected, that might be flashing red. Unless you want to change it to your uh, monitors or, that, or speakers, click this and then you click your uh, other speakers you want to use. It's a bit long winded, but it's better to be honest. Anyway, you want to go down to your go down to here to your uh, playback devices. Now you want to click voice meter, set it as default device instead of your uh, speakers and cable input as default communications device. Next, you want to go to recording. Make sure voice meter outputs on default device and 
your before uh, your microphone is not. Uh, after that, press apply, press OK, and now hardware input number two. You want to click this, click WDM keyboard output. Uh, don't do any on the fly editing or it sounds bad. And make sure it's on 2.5 decibels and A so you can hear your uh, people in your call booth. This is useful because let's say you're in a game and then if you turn the game down volume, you turn all the you know the overall volume down. If it's you know bad bad here, so you can't hear your friends. Uh, so if you go on Discord, go to your voice settings or any other like Skype or that, it's the same applies to like TeamSpeak as well. Your input device has to be your voice into output to get the maximum quality and your output device must be your cable input. So the input must be the output and the output must be the input. So your friend's voice will be on ooh, your friend's voice will be on this channel. So you can edit this, you know, how quiet and loud it is, and the game and music volume or any other you know, background tasks will be on this. If it's a uh, communication device like Xbox, you know, when you play Xbox with your friends, but you're on the PC and you're playing like Forza uh, you know, cross platform, uh, your friend speaking your party will go to here because it's uh, Windows 10 and it's communications. Anyway, after that, uh, you can go to your OBS settings and then set them all up, but that's going to be in a different video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a like, thumbs up, the same thing basically. Uh, maybe subscribe and leave a comment saying what you liked about this video and what you didn't like about this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.